Pop News time. Yes, thank you, George. Good morning, everybody. We're going to begin with the elephant in the room. In this case, of course, we mean the gorgeous elephant in that Beverly Hills Beverly Hilton Ballroom. Yeah, we covered the Globes, but we need to talk, what well, we should talk about Brad Pitt. He may not have won an award. He was nominated for Best Supporting Actor for his latest movie, Babylon, but let's be clear, he was, in fact, the big winner last night. His hair, a major headline. Even Vogue wrote an article <laughs> overnight about his new, shorter, sun-kissed locks. He stole the show from the fashionable ladies in attendance. Oh, and he was thanked by the winners more than even the Hollywood foreign press up on stage. Take a look. Man, all my words are leaving me. Um, I, I just am so grateful right now. I'm in this room full of my heroes. Brad, I love you. Comedy brings people together. Comedy gives us all the same laugh. Hey, Brad Pitt. Um, I think they got my name wrong. Yeah, it's Mrs. Pitt. <laughs> Brad is right here, so I'm so sorry, honey. <laughs> if you too want to see more of Brad, the movie he was nominated for, Babylon, is in theaters right now. Congrats to all the winners, and of course, congratulations to Brad Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, this year marks the 50th anniversary of one of the greatest songs of all time, Roberta Flax. Yes, oh, wow. Killing Me Softly. It debuted at the top of the charts back in 1973. It's been named I Just Got Chills Too, Robin. Yeah. It's been named one of Rolling Stone's top 500 songs of all time. And now, just months after announcing her ALS diagnosis and retirement from performing, the superstar has officially debuted her first children's book. It's called The Green Piano. It tells the story of Flack's life from growing up in North Carolina to her worldwide fame. Flack tells GMA exclusively, I found my instrument in that smelly green <laughs> junkyard piano, and I wanted to share that story with children around the world now for years to come, so they might be inspired to find their instrument, whether their voice, a piano, tennis racket or paintbrush and to live their lives with purpose passion and love the green piano is on bookshelves everywhere now let's just play that the rest of the morning i mean <laughs> yes it sets a tone but i don't know if it's right for this story finally <laughs> It's the question Judy Bloom fans have asked 53 years. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. And now, more than a half century later, the iconic book is headed to the big screen. The main character, Margaret, will be played by Ant-Man actress Abby Ryder Forston. Academy Award nominee Rachel McAdams will play her mom. And the wonderful Kathy Bates plays Grandma Sylvia. So why now? Well, the film's writer and director tells Entertainment Weekly, now is the perfect time, saying while well, certain details have changed over the years, the experience of growing up, well, it's universal. We get to see the classic novel, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, hits theaters April 28th, and that is Pop News. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.